someone else. And we saw some examples of these like nominees uh, or, or um, when we had the mortgage situation in a prior presentation. So the general idea would be, well, now I got a 1099 that's assigned to me, but if, and if I, do, but I don't think it's, it has to be recorded in income for me. It has to be recorded in income for somebody else. But if I don't put the money in to the tax return, if I, especially if I'm over a certain dollar amount, even if I'm not, the IRS will add up the 1099s and see that what I reported is less than what they have. And therefore, I need to show on my return the same amount. So how do I do that? How do I record the amount so they can tie it out to what they have, but still uh, reduce it again so that so that I can report the proper amount? So let's imagine, for example, I'm going to just call this bank number five. And let's say I'm just going to make up a large number so we can see it. Six thousand of interest. So we have interest coming through, but it's not for us for whatever reason. And you can see in this data input, we have the adjustments to the federal tax interest, nominee interest, accrued interest, tax exempt interest, original issue discount, amortizable bonds. So see, these were some of those kind of more unusual situations that we talked about in a prior presentation. I'm just going to say it was a nominee interest and say that it was uh, we're going to put 6,000 here. So now I'm going to go back on over and say, okay, so now if I go to my 10, 1040 page one, it's not impacting here. If I go to the schedule B, I could say, what happened? Well, now I've got bank one, two, three, four, and five. There's the 6,000 that I included. And then it's subtotaling. So it's adding all that up. And then it's giving me another line item, taking this back out again, and it's calling it a nominee distribution. So, so you could put you know more information possibly in the line item there uh, describing it, but that's the general idea. So now the, the IRS can say, okay, my number that we got on the 1099s matches what was reported to by the taxpayer. So the IRS is saying, we see 8,860 reported and the schedule B shows 8,860, but then we took out the 6,000 telling